Hi, it's me again, Charlie. I'm still down south. I'm at Fort Park today, and today's a bit of a special day at Fort Park because today is the, 20, is the 40th anniversary of the opening of Fort Park. So it opened on the 24th of May in 1979. I'm here, I got my sunglasses on, it's a really nice day. We should have brought some shorts, that would have been a good idea, but I didn't. I do have spare clothes, but not shorts, I've got shoes, everything, you know, you need all these things when you come to a theme park. I've got my glasses on today. I'd go buy glasses, because I didn't bring any. And sunscreen, I'd get sunscreen, because yesterday I caught sun a bit when I was at Chessington, where we got that nice little evac off a Tiger Rock. At least got some fast passes out of it. Now, I've been having a little walk round, getting a bit of a feel for the layout. I've never been to Fort Park before, so I chose a good time to come. It's a nice day, 40th anniversary, should be all fun. Now, I think I'm going to start out with a ride on Nemesis Inferno. Seems random, but it's always nice to start your day with a bit of B&M action, isn't it? Then we can continue it with a bit of swarm, maybe. See, I'm just having a look here at uh, Nemesis Inferno. Yes. Everybody claims it's not as good as the original. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, it's interesting because if you look at this bit, then the start of it is actually a lot like Black Mamba at Fantasyland because it comes down banked drop into a loop. But then over here, it's got the most B&M element ever, which is the interlocking corkscrews. Classic, classic b &M. Well, I was going to start off with a ride on Nemesis Inferno, but it's on a 50 minute queue, so I've had to walk over to Colossus, which is on like 20. So, get a ride in, might as well. We don't want to wait 50 minutes for the first ride, do we? You want to get some action when you get to the park straight away, so that's what we're going to do now. And cattle pen, and cattle pen, and we walk round. And round again, and back on ourselves. That's cattle pen. So we go and we on his way to a ride. See, lovely walk. Found a queue. I've just been for a ride on Colossus. Very good. It's got them four outline rolls at the end. On the fourth one, my pass nearly went flying. So I was like, grab! Pretty good fun. I mean, rumour has it that we're getting one of those at Flamingo Land, which looks pretty credible because they're doing ground clearing, so I'll probably be getting one. But they're still going to have the over the shoulders, aren't they? You see. Now, what they could do, really. Well, what I think Fort Park should do, really, ring Intamin up and go, can we get some new trains with lap bars to put on it? 
Because then they'd have a better one, wouldn't they? You know. Like that one, there's one in Italy that's the same as Colossus, but it's got lap bars. Which would be better. Because, like, I went on that, the last one was sat next to me and said, oh, yeah, it's been really banging my ears on the side at uh, over shoulder restraints, so. Yeah. You gotta develop that technique. You sit well forward, keep your shoulders up to the uh, up to the bars and then your head's far enough forward so that you're not uh, not getting a brain beat in the coma style. But anyway, next I'm gonna try out the swarm. Not done a wing coaster before, so it should be good fun. Let's go and get in the queue. a few rides on the swarm. It's a good coaster that. Been for, well, we didn't just have one ride. Not just two rides, not even three, we have four rides. Because you've got to have four rides, it's a swing coaster, isn't it? So normally you go, we do front, we do back, see what we think is best. Well, you've got to do front left, front right, back left, back right. You've got to cover all the bases, figure out what it's about. I'm having a walk over this end. I'm gonna have to go on Nemesis Inferno, but it's, sh it's shut again, it's gone down. We're down this morning and all, so it's not doing well today, old Nemesis. Which is weird, because normally you've got that bulletproof BM reliability, but not today. So, I've had another ride on Colossus. It's good. You've got to, you've got to keep your head far forward on it, haven't you? You see, because otherwise you get, you get head bashed. So you got, you got to uh, develop that good technique of, you know, shoulders right up to the restraints, head forward, and then you're okay. Like I said before, they, they should change them. Get them lap bars in. Be a good one. Be a good one. Now, yeah, it's a weird thing, right? Yeah, it's come theme parks, it's no loose articles. Zip up pockets, always good. But then Merlin, give you the annual pass on a lanyard, and they send you the lanyard, and the pop badges, and you put pop badges on and buy the pins. I like the pins though, I like pins. Pins, pins are be like good little souvenirs. But, they give it you on a lanyard flies all over the place, nearly went flying on that fourth uh, art line roll of Colossus. Like, that bit right, right there. Yeah, that nearly lost the pass. It's weird, because like most other places, you don't hear them on a lanyard. It's like, uh, I got a Fantasia Land season pass. And that's just, it's just a card in a little, little laminate wallet, you know, it's because in your pocket. Realistically, I'd probably be better just putting this in my pocket, or not, but uh, I do like having all the pins and things. But they should have thought of a better system, shouldn't they, really? Day. Well, so far today I've walked nearly 10 miles around the park, frequently do that. Every time I try and get on Nemesis, it shuts. It breaks down every time I go over there. I didn't look at that yet. 
but other than that, we're doing all right on rides. I think I'm probably going to get another ride on the Swarm. And then after that, I might head down to Stilf. I did eventually get a ride on Nemesis Inferno after trying most of yesterday, it breaking down six times, every single time went over to it, closed. Alright, it's up, go over to it, closed. No, I'd look with that one. But um, the only thing I have left, I need to get a ride on Saw, which I managed to do yet because it had either a massive queue or right now it's down because they're having to perform some essential cleansing. Yeah, I mean, somebody's been sick. It's normally the point where if they make the announcement, everybody goes, ah, oh, and then, ah, it's been sick. But anyways, I'm going to head over to Stealth and get a couple of rides on Stealth. And then I will get that ride before the end of today. I might have to do some fast pass, but just the one. But it's not like I'm going to leave here without being on one of the coasters, is it? It's not happening. So you got to get all the coasters. Just coming through the bit with Nemesis Inferno now, we do have these really nice interlocking corkscrews here, which look fantastic, great B&M element, but I just don't like it as much as the one at Alton Towers. Pretty popular opinion, I think, that, isn't it? detonator going off in the background. Hey, here we are. We're nearly here. We get in there. I'm just going to take a slightly circuitous route so that I can get round to the other side. Hey, do we want to do a walk and talk? Walk and talk in a park. And off we go to Fort Park to see what we can see. Which apparently somebody from the Raccoon City Police Department. Must mean there's some um umbrella activity around. It's now here this is sort of a vaguely interesting idea. Because instead of looking at me talking, I'm going to talk and you're going to look at what I'm looking at. And then you get a feel for how things look around the park. See? Walk around. We're nearly it. There we go, look. We're going to have some fun. of a problem with Gerslaus is like a lot of people do because I'm like not that bulky of a guy you know pretty skinny so if I don't have much of a problem I can just push my shoulders forwards stick my head out you know and I'm good I'm not getting bashed about but you come over the drop down the hill and then you start coming back up after you go under the blades. And there's a huge jolt like to the right when you hit that bit. You can see it even when you stood off right, you see everybody shake to the side as soon as they hit that bit. So I, I get why some people find that a bit painful, definitely. As I said, I'm pretty lucky. I can generally position myself in a way that my head 
head's not getting bounced around between the OSRs, so. Yeah, yeah. Works out well for me. Yeah, it's not a bad ride, like I said, that's okay. I've gone that a couple of times. Came back, going again. And I did get my ride on Nemesis as well. It's not bad. It's not as good as the original, is it? You see, that's the thing. So I've now been on everything here at least once. Uh, excluding tidal weight because I just don't want to get that wet at minute. Hey there everybody, if you made it this far thank you very much for watching, if you liked the video give it one of those, if you didn't like it you can give it a dislike, if you're feeling more complicated than that you can leave me a comment, but please do check out some of my other content, maybe give me a sub, and I hope you've enjoyed the video.